Hello friends, this video on waves part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 6 before going ahead with part 7. Now let us look at the second parameter that is phase of a wave. So what do you think is phase? So what is phase of a wave? Phase is again not a new term for you. We have already studied about it in case of oscillatory motion. So phase is something which describes the complete location or the complete position of a particular point on a wave. So it describes the state of motion as the wave sweeps through an element at a particular position. So it describes the state of motion. I mean it is something like this that all the particles of the medium will be at their own position initially. Now a disturbance will come right and then th that disturbance will get propagated through this medium. So the wave will pass through these particles. Right, And then these particles, these particles however will not move with the wave but they will oscillate about their mean position. So phase of a wave, it, gen it describes the state of motion of the particles of the medium at a particular position as the wave passes through them. Because amplitude alone cannot specify the state of motion. Amplitude will only say the maximum displacement of the particle. So Amplitude as well as phase together can describe the position of the particle. Let us suppose if I consider this wave. So this is a wave which is propagating along the positive x-axis. So what will phase do? Phase will basically describe the location within one cycle of a periodic wave. Now for in order to keep things simple let us consider this wave the static wave here. Okay, in this wave, let me consider certain points. Let us suppose I consider this as point A. Let me consider this point as point B. This point as C. This point as D. Again, this point as E. This is F. This is G, this is H. We have plotted so many different points on this wave. Now, I have to, there are certain questions in mind. How do we know that two points are in phase or not? Now, before even going into that, we have to know what do we mean by in phase and out of phase. These are two things which we will keep using on and off as we go ahead in this chapter. One thing is in phase and the other thing is out of phase. So what do I mean by in phase and out of phase? How do I say that two points, these two points are in phase with each other or when do I say that these two points are out of phase? When I say that two points are in phase, that means those two points are at the same position and they both are doing the same thing. That is two points at same position exhibiting the same behavior. So their behavior is also same and their position is also similar. Then we say that those two points are in phase. Similarly, if we say that two points are out of phase, that means those two points are even though their position seems to be same, but they are doing opposite thing. So something which is not in phase is out of phase. That means it is basically out of phase is opposite to what do we mean by in phase, right? So two waves can be in phase, they can be completely out of phase or they can be partially out of phase. Now when we talk about in phase and out of phase, it is not necessary that we can only compare different points on the same wave. We can also compare two waves. We can say that these two waves are in phase with each other or these two waves are out of phase to each other. So we can also use it for multiple waves. So right now to understand this, we will understand it on different points on the same wave. Let us suppose we have this wave. Let us consider two points A and B. 
So what do you think? A and B, are they in phase or not? This is point A and this is point B. If you look at them, their positions are the same. Both of them lie in the same position. I mean, they, they, they lie, same position doesn't mean that B has to lie on A. Same position means the position is similar on the wave. What is this wave? This wave starts from here. It goes up. It comes down. It reaches this point. Again, it goes up. That means uh, from A to B, whatever the behavior of the wave, from B again, the same behavior gets repeated, right? So wave is also periodic with time. So if you compare the position of A and B, they both are at the same position and also they both exhibit the same behavior. If you see this particle, this particle is also going up. This particle is also going up. So not only the position, but their behavior is also same at these two points. So we can say that A and B are in phase. Now, similarly, if we consider points A and C, consider point A and point C, are they at similar positions? No, they are not. The position itself is not similar. So we say they are not in phase. Similarly, if we compare points C and D, if you see C and D, as far as position is concerned, they both are again at the same position, right? But the behavior at point C is this, that is the particle is tending to go up. But whereas in point, point D, the particle tends to come down. So the behavior is different at these two points. So again, C and D are also not in phase. Now, if you consider point F and G, consider point F and G. F and G, as far as position is concerned, their position looks to be same, but they are opposite to each other, right? Position of F and G is same irrespective of the positive and negative coordinates. But when you see the behavior, the behavior is totally opposite. F goes down and G goes up, but their position is equal and opposite. So we say that F and G are out of phase. So they are also not in phase. So I hope now you understand what is in phase. But if you compare the same point F with the point H, then again they are in phase. That's because their position is also same and their behavior is also same. So F and H are again in phase. So this is how we say how two points are in phase and how they are not in phase. Now let us suppose if I say that, okay, two points are not in phase. So what does that mean? I mean, how do I know that whether the two points are completely out of phase or they are partially out of phase? So that also we can calculate. Let us continue this discussion. I hope you are understanding what is phase of a wave, right? Right now, I am not telling you about the expression of a phase or something like that. I just want you to understand what is phase. You, first, it is very important to logically understand what is phase first. After that, we can derive mathematical expressions for phase. Once you logically understand something, then it is very easy to understand it mathematically or in terms of formulas and expressions. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.